<laughs> How's it going, babe? Good. Um, Labor Day. Nate's got some ribs on the smoker, and I've got some homemade pumpkin pie in the oven. And then it started raining, but it's a really nice, calm, rainy day. So. Yeah, I'm. I wanted to get some stuff done over there. We've got boards. I don't know if y'all can see them out there. All the boards for the front gate and right. the pergola that's going to go over by the garden gate where we'll eventually have those Vanessa grapes growing. And I needed to paint some and stain some, but yep. well, they got all wet, so. So that won't be happening. And that's why we have this lovely porch. On days like this, yeah. it's a perfect place to be. Yes, we call it porch therapy. I'm gonna plant some potatoes today. I went out and got organic potatoes and I let them sprout first so they're ready to go. I'm gonna put them in the ground. I'm gonna go ahead and plant some down this row. So as these pop up, I will cover them again with some more straw. All right, I'm gonna go ahead and plant some of these and and hopefully they all come up and we'll get some potatoes before we get our first frost. Planted them all. And these are just these organic potatoes from Walmart. I got two bags of them. And I sprouted them first and then put them in. I have already got one coming up over here on the end, so I know this works. If you can't find seed potatoes, this works. But don't get the regular non-organic. They will just add I mean, I guess it's good compost. <laughs> They'll just rot in your ground, <laughs> just like mine did, so. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah, ones the... that you heroically planted in the thunderstorm? Yes. <laughs> this is a lot more fun to do potatoes this way. Yeah, it turns out they spray it with something um, to keep the potatoes from sprouting. Yeah, it takes them too long and they just rot yeah. before they can do any good. They will eventually sprout, but it slows Probably, it down. Probably, yeah, if you keep them in the house and make sure they sprout real well before you put them in, that might work. Mm -hmm. But these sprout very fast. I mean, I got these like a week ago and they were already ready to go in the ground. Yeah. And I've got this kind of random weird experiment going on right now with my uh, onions. <laughs> I'll show you. I've been... So we go through a lot of onions and kind of looks gross so cut the ends off and then put them in water and then they sprout you see the little yep. and supposedly you can put these in the ground and they'll grow so I'm gonna try it out some of these got gross so I'm not sure I'm gonna put these somewhere I'm not sure where yet this grapevine's doing good yeah it wants to go this way so once we could put the pergola up right I'll train it to go up mm -hmm. so right here you see this gate and that that board I just found somewhere. I put it up temporarily, but we're, we've got much longer ones as you see over there. This whole thing's going to be a trellis way up high, and there's a grape growing at each corner. And one day eventually, it's going to be a really pretty little entryway to the garden with hopefully, in my mind anyways, grape clusters hanging down abundantly everywhere. But. Yeah, that's the pumpkin pie. Uh, I'll be right there. I'll go, I'm going to check on it. Thanks, Bob. And it's been pouring rain all morning. Finally slowed down. And I'm always surprised when I come out here. We, we get a big drench and I come out and check the rain gauge. <sighs> what is that? Like, not even quite a half of an inch. This is kind of fun. I've never really done garden tours before. I don't get to spend as much time out here as Jen does. I'm usually building stuff. I'm the builder, she's the planter, nurturer, spends all the time out here while I'm building the next project for her to then nurture and take care of my poor tobacco plants. I need to look up and see, we're on the fence about just pulling them out and drying them now or letting them mature you're supposed to from what i've heard if i haven't really looked it up i just went off the advice of people who've done it and they say you wait till they start to yellow on their own and i'm thinking that probably has something to do with the nicotine content but uh you know i don't want to pull them too early and just end up with a bunch of basically like i'd be smoking lettuce 
If you haven't noticed, I do enjoy my pipe tobacco. And I don't think I'd want to be smoking lettuce. Holy cow. These bastards are relentless. Here's why Jenna says we just need to take these things out right now. I swear we've been over this every day. And every time we come out, there's more of these little guys. So we'll see. This garden is a constant learning process. We try to do it organically. We don't like to spray. And so we do a lot of manual removal of bugs and eggs. We're getting more and more of our harvest, but nature always claims a pretty big chunk for herself. Sometimes we've lost entire crops, and other times we pretty much get what we harvest. Last year we had a great year for squash. Yeah, we did. This year, I think, honestly, that because of the, the plastic. Yeah, we put down all this plastic and we were like, oh, it's going to be so beautiful. Last year they got overgrown. And then I couldn't weed whack in here. It was just a nightmare. Yeah. And this year we were like, oh, it's going to be great. It's going to be organized. It's going to be nice and clean. There won't be anything growing but the vines. And then, and then the vines all just started to fail. I guess they need contact with the soil. Eventually this whole garden is pretty much going to be up off the ground. Yep. If you look, I mean, we really are... Sunshine is the rare and precious commodity here. We have plenty of water, we get plenty of rain. Our challenge in our neck of the woods is sunshine. And, and we have a, an area that gets lots of sun and then areas that are partial shade. And if you look, we're pretty much in a little hole in the woods. We might cut some of, those, some of those down over there. Some of those in the yard, they need to come down. And But the thing is, how the heck am I going to cut those things down yeah. without crushing something that I've built here that I don't want crushed? I keep telling Jen i got to learn how to climb up the trees like those lumberjacks and just drop them, starting at the top one section at a time. But she doesn't want me to die yet. Sounds dangerous. <laughs> Yeah, I just feel like our garden looks crazy wild right now. It's it's looking spent, babe. And I, I'm excited to kind of rip things up and get things looking better out here. It looks... Right. It doesn't look how I want it to look. Right no. Now. Spotty. She is always getting in this chicken coop. She jumps from these logs over here. Knock down all the netting. Luckily, the birds... Um, they don't get out like they used to. I need to come in here and clean this up. It's gotten... A mess but she's bending the fence over there so we need to come out here and move these Nate needs to chop this up with the chainsaw we need to move it out somewhere else and they can dance around on them out there but I hate this netting y'all I seriously hate it we're gonna find a different solution it's a mess so yeah I'm gonna fill the water up and get her out of here all right, so I'm gonna plant some fava beans today. The rest I'm gonna wait till to October because I'm gonna be planting them on these trellises. They get quite tall and then I'll, um, I think they get up to like, I think I've heard they get up to eight feet tall, but I could be wrong on that one. So anyway, these are the, these ones were a little bit more pricey, but I thought they'd be fun because they're purple. And then these are the regular, just green ones. So I'm gonna go ahead and probably plant these. I got a lot more. So it'll be interesting. I've only ever heard of these from that darn movie. Was it Silence of the Lambs? <laughs> he talks about fava beans. And key ante. Yes, and uh, so, yeah, I haven't seen that movie in forever. It scared the crap out of me. Anyway, so they're supposed to be delicious. I'm gonna plant these. And I don't think they should take that long to come up. They're supposed to be really beautiful. They're great for attracting good pollinators and they put nitrogen into the soil all around great cover crop for winter plus you can eat them anyway let me get to it hey. I just opened these up and they're so cool looking aren't those interesting so I'm supposed to plant them two to four inches deep I think I'll go with three inches we'll go in between <laughs> and we'll see they're supposed to sprout in seven to ten days I'm excited little worms in there that's a good sign do worms ever eat seeds no they just eat the dirt 
Worms eat dirt. What is there in dirt that they eat? I don't know. They eat the dirt and then they poop it out and they make it even better. <laughs> <laughs> I thought they eat organic things that are in the dirt. I don't know. I thought they eat dirt. Okay. Well, as long as uh, they don't eat the seeds, they can eat whatever they want. Eight inches apart. Ooh. I'm just going to wing it. I don't have anything measuring, so we'll just say that's eight inches. That's... You know, I guess I could could have sprouted these first before. I might try that next time. All right, eight more inches. Right here. <laughs> oh look, there's one of those creepy things. I don't know what these are. They get huge though. They get really, really big. And they Little creep. alien bug? An uh, alien bug in the garden. I don't know what they are, but the chickens love them. Because, I mean, they get like this huge. It's surprisingly muggy out here. I know. It's, it's not hot. Um, I liked the weather, but the weather better yesterday. You like the weather better? I like the weather better. <laughs> did you leave your shovel there on purpose as a marker, or did you just get lucky? No, I just got lucky. <laughs> Since it's the same trellis, you could just come over to this side and plant them from here. I know, but I thought about it. Think that'd be better. I mean, no, these because these beans are gone crazy. I need to take them out. What are these things sprouting back here? This this whole mound. The this is the buckwheat. That's weird. the The leaves remind me of beans. They've yes, got that, isn't that heart funny? shape. Some of them are now. There are some beads, beans coming up like that one there from because beans used to be here. Right. So um, that's a volunteer bean. But yeah, these are all the buckwheat. These are the ones that they put phosphorus into the soil. It's the only thing that I know of that will actually do that. They just really look like beans. Yeah, they should get about four feet tall, and they will bloom really pretty and attract good insects. But, um, how the ribs coming, baby? They're coming along all right. They're smoking pretty good over there. See that greenhouse? It's not done yet. That's why we haven't really taken you inside. Yeah, they're not allowed. Not finished. Shh. <laughs> In progress. The house will get finished, and it will look nice inside. And when it looks nice, we'll show you. Yeah, we have a vision for it, and it's not there yet. Right. <sighs> we're just like 10 feet higher elevation from the garden, but we're in the shade. It makes such a big difference. Jen picked out this spot in the yard because it's the shadiest spot. And she said, you know what? One day we should make a barbecue area. And then she did her little springtime road trip. She takes the girls and they drive out to see family and friends across the country, all the way to the West Coast and then back. They're usually gone about a month. And so here I am taking care of the dogs and working and coming home and staring at the wall. And I was like, you know what? I'm gonna go ahead and build that patio. I'm gonna surprise her when she gets home. So I got a shovel and I dug this place out flat. I don't know if you can tell that we're kind of on a hill. Made a flat spot. We've got this cool little cookie cutter that makes these things out of concrete. You just mix up concrete, fill it in, move the form, and it keeps going. Made a little chiminea countertops and this little smoker which I thought about getting you know all those fancy smokers big green egg and stuff and I thought you know what is it about what what made what made southern barbecue famous right and it was just the simple pit style smokers from however long ago when they used to do that and it's since been replaced by all the commercial fancy things but I just built this really simple one. Old style. Up some bars, built it out of cinder block. I built a little simple fire in there. Just hardwood off the land. Ooh, a little bit of smoke in my eyes. Hardwood off the land. We don't buy charcoal anymore. Seems to work pretty well. You like my stick handle? I made it out of a stick.
Ribs are coming along all right. A little bit, then we'll kind of smother it down, get that good smoke rolling. Oh yeah, there's some good smoke. bit too hot. That'll squash it down. So it is raining. Nate's gonna set up the umbrella. Because I ran away from the rain. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I can sit out here. It works. It does work. Thank it's you, not rain, It's not raining very hard right no, now. No, it's not. It's not Look that Look at bad. my cave. Oh, is that your cave? Mm -hmm. Very nice. Mine's invincible from rain. Oh, I can't wait to eat some. I need a little more wood down there. Okay. Right. I am going into my cave deeper. <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, it's nice and cozy down here. It looks cozy. It looks very cozy. The girls were eating some watermelon that we picked from the garden. They didn't say it was very sweet though. But this pineapple is pretty good. I think it's delicious. You like it? It's yummy, but it's not very sweet. Okay. Hmm. Put some more wood down there, babe. Whew. Smoky. Yeah. I just thought I'd stare at the smoke until I started crying. <laughs> mm. oh, tip it up this way. Let that wood catch, because this is not this is not the kind of smoke you want on the meat. No, that's dirty smoke, yeah? Dirty what they call smoke. It? Dirty smoke. I don't know what they call it. Definitely doesn't taste right. Well, the thing is, you can always wait longer with ribs. I know, but I'm hungry. <laughs> That is very tender. Wow. Yeah, that's good. Let me get the truck. Look at big old thick pieces, aren't they? Uh-huh. Hi. <laughs> what do you think, babe? It's really good. I mean, the meat's just like falling off the bone. It's delicious. Why don't you try one, Bob? Yummy. It's good. Bebber, are you waiting for the bones? Oh yeah, the dogs always get the bones. It's gonna be their dinner. What do you think, Melly? She finally gets her pie. Huh? Is it good? <laughs> She's been waiting for this all day. How about you, Bob? Yummy. <laughs> All right, we didn't get as much done today as we wanted to. No, all our projects got wet. Yeah. It ended up being kind of a wash this last day of our long weekend. I think we still did pretty good with it, though. I think so. Well, we got to do a little bit of relaxing. Yeah. Planted some things, and I think um, this week, when things dry out, I think it's supposed to dry out on yeah, Thursday and to, Friday. It's going to rain the first half of the week anyway. So hopefully I can get those board stained and painted and we can finish up the gate gate pergola the other thing i can never remember um more fencing <laughs> and then on to the next whatever and greenhouse <laughs> that's what it is <laughs> okay greenhouse yeah that's so. gonna be good yeah <laughs> i'm excited to get to that it me helps too. it helps me get through this thing and that thing and the next thing yeah because i'm always looking at that other thing mm -hmm. and then i'm not focusing on this thing <laughs> 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 All right, so we'll see you guys next week.